Govee sent me out their brand new M1 latch strip for review that now works with Apple HomeKit via Matter. The very first product by Govee to natively support Apple HomeKit and quite possibly my new favorite HomeKit light strip. And in this video, we'll look at all the features that this light strip has and does not have, how to get this light strip set up in HomeKit and what the HomeKit experience has been like. And spoiler alert, it's not what you'd expect to see. Along with some fun automation ideas that you can do with the light strip and if this light strip is actually worth buying. But first, who is Govi? If you're not familiar with who Govi is, Govi is a smart home brand that makes various kinds of smart devices. They're most known for their lighting products that have bright and vivid colors. They work with most smart home assistants like Amazon, Google, Siri shortcuts, and HomeKit through using a third party bridge, but not natively with HomeKit until today through Matter. The M1 latch strip with Matter is the first HomeKit compatible latch strip by Govi, and soon many of their existing and new products will support HomeKit through Matter later this year. Matter is a new smart home standard that allows devices that are Matter compatible to now work with all smart home platforms right out of the box. A Matter device uses Wi-Fi or Thread as its primary connection. The M1 light strip was actually released last year, but did not support Matter. It only supported Amazon and Google, but Govee has updated this light strip to support Matter with a new controller. If you bought the original M1 light strip, then you can actually get the new Matter controller for free and have your light strip work with HomeKit without buying a new light strip, which is great. I'll leave more information on how to do that down in the description below. Looking at the design of the light strip, it comes in two meters, which is about six and a half feet. It can be cut along these specific areas and extended up to five meters, which is about 16 feet using an extension kit, which is linked down in the description below. And this light strip is rated for indoor use only and not weather resistant. On the controller, there's controls for power, cycling through nine different colors, and music mode. Or by pressing the button on the bottom, it will cycle through different brightness levels. The light strip has up to 50 customizable segments and a new 4-in-1 RGBIC Plus technology that allows for brighter, richer, and more accurate colors, which we'll look at later on. But first, let's install it. I'm installing this light strip in my bedroom on the headboard above my bed for accent lighting, and the installation went smoothly. It comes with alcohol prep pads to clean the dust off the area that you're mounted on and mounting hooks. There's adhesive on the bottom of the light strip and the controller, and this adhesive is quite strong. After a week of having this light strip installed, it was still sticky. Like other light strips though, the M1 light strip cannot be bent or placed at a 90 degree angle. Otherwise, it could tear the light strip. I really like how this light strip looks above my bed. The colors really pop and are amazing to use in automations. More on this later on. Speaking of colors, how accurate and bright is this light strip? Well, the M1 light strip has a new 4-in-1 chipset that provides brighter and richer colors at 700 lumens with 60 LEDs per meter and it's quite bright. It's twice as bright as other Govee light strips. The white is super bright and accurate. The colors like red, green and blue are nice and rich. I'll be comparing this light strip and other matter enabled light strips to see which one is the best option for your smart home in a different video. So make sure to hit that like button if you're excited to see that video. Now what really makes the Govi M1 light strip unique is that it is an addressable light strip meaning you can have multiple colors on the light strip at one time versus a non-addressable light strip, which is just one color on the light strip at a time. Govi joins other addressable light strips that work with HomeKit like Onvis, TP-Link, Vocalink, and LifeX. Though Govi does things a little bit differently. The light strip has 15 color zones and each zone can be a different color using the Govi app. Just choose the zone or, or segment or multiple zones and choose the color you like or a hue of white. It's fairly easy to change the color of each zone. What's really impressive is not only can brightness be adjusted, but the brightness of each zone can be independently controlled. This is mind blowing and something that has never been done before. Whereas with other light strips, it's one brightness across the entire light strip. So to have Govi be multiple brightnesses at once, that's quite unique. There's more unique features that Govi has that no other light strip brand has that I think you'll find useful. But before we look at that and some issues that I've had with using this light strip, you know what else is unique? A company called Exter, who is sponsoring today's video that has a unique twist on the standard wallet. Not only are their wallets high quality and practical, but what makes them unique is this quick eject button on the side of their wallets that will fan out all your cards with one click. This is so cool. If you're like me and often lose your wallet, then Extra has you covered with a wallet that supports an Apple AirTag. This way you can use the Find My app to help you look at your lost wallet. I've used this feature more times than I'd like to admit. Their wallets come in a wide variety of styles and colors, including leather, 
space grade aluminum, carbon fiber, and if you're feeling extra fancy, you can get one that comes in pure gold. There's a lot of choices to choose from online, so you'll easily be able to find one that you like. You can get up to 35% off by using my link shop.extra.com slash adamstechlife or by using my code adamstechlife at the checkout for their Father's Day sale going on right now through June 20th. And a huge thank you to Extra for sponsoring today's video. Now let's check out some other unique features that Govi has and some issues that I've experienced while using this light strip. The Govi app also has an incredible amount of special effects that you can do with this light strip. This includes th things like advanced controls for painting the light strip with specific colors and effects. There's various scenes that you can choose from to really set a mood that are fun to use, like sunrise, fall, summer, fire, and ripple, along with this crazy fun music mode. Unfortunately, whenever you are controlling this light strip from the Govi app, it is connecting via Bluetooth and not through Wi-Fi, which means that you have to be fairly close to the light strip for changes to occur and the changes do not update as fast as I like them to. Because of this, I often had connectivity issues in the Govi app and my phone would often not connect to the light strip. Govi now works with Apple Home through a new smart home standard called Matter. And to get this device into the Home app, there's a couple things that you're gonna need. First, a Matter controller, which is an Apple TV 2021 or later, a HomePod or a HomePod mini, and iOS 16.1 with the new Apple Home architecture update. The setup process to get the Govi M1 light strip into the Apple Home app was a royal nightmare for me and not as easy as setting up other HomeKit devices. There's a Matter setup code inside the Govi app with no direct setup button to get it synced to Apple Home. There is a physical QR code on the controller that you can scan, but I did not realize this until later on, which may have made the setup process easier. So I had to write down the Matter code, then go into the Apple Home app, choose Add Device, and choose More Options. Then you'll see the Govi light strip here and type in this code. This was not a huge deal for me, but things got worse. I constantly got the failed to pair message and after resetting the device to factory settings multiple times and after 20 minutes later, I finally got the Govi light strip to work in the Apple Home app. Or so I thought. Once the light strip was in the Apple Home app, I was just playing around with it, you know, turning the light strip on and off and changing the colors and the brightness. It would just act up on its own and not even be usable. So I let the light strip be for a while and the bugs fixed themselves and now it's been responsive and works in the Home app. Though not perfectly and more on that later on. I'm thinking this has to do with how the Matter connection setup works on the back end, but I'm not entirely sure. Since Matter is a new smart home standard, I'd expect the process to go smoother over time when adding a new device. In the Apple Home app, you're able to control the power, adjust the brightness, change the colors, all from your Apple devices like the iPhone, the iPad, the Mac, and using Siri on the Apple Watch, the Apple TV, and even on the HomePods. However, I will say the HomeKit experience is not at all what I was expecting for how expensive this light strip is. For one, it is slower to respond to commands like turning on or off or changing the colors than using brands like Onvis since the Govi light strip connects over Bluetooth. Secondly, there is this weird bug where sometimes when you turn it on, it starts to add a dim brightness, then goes to the brightness that you have it set at. This happened regularly for me and was very weird to see. Lastly, when I was changing the colors, oftentimes the colors would not save in the home app as previous colors used. Here you can see the home app says the last strip is red, but as you can clearly see, it's not red. And as I adjust the brightness, it still does not change the color. This happened with multiple colors and made this a very confusing experience. Some of the colors eventually updated, but this was a very weird experience for me. For being one of the most expensive light strips out there, I expected it to be faster to respond and work more reliably than more affordable light strips like my favorite brand, Onvis. Like other HomeKit light strips, there are some features that you do not get in the Apple Home app. Govi does not support adaptive lighting, which will automatically adjust the white temperature throughout the day so that your lights match the daylight and make it easier on your eyes. Brands like Philips Hue and Eve both have this feature. The painting feature, where you can have multiple colors at once, is also not available in the Home app. This is not a specific issue with Govi, as other addressable light strips like Onvis and TP-Link cannot do this as well. It's not a supported feature by Apple in the Home app. To make things worse, custom light patterns and these fun effects are not able to be synced to the Apple Home app at this current time, which is a real bummer. Whereas with Onvis, you can save your paintings and sync them to the Home app and use them in your automations. 
I really wish that Govi would add this feature in the future. This feature is something that I actually use often, especially during the holidays. Though I will say, Onvis did not have this feature initially. It was later rolled out as a software update, so I'm hoping that Govi will add this feature later on as well. The Govi Live Strip can also be used in your scenes and to create some fun automations. Now you will need a HomeKit hub like an Apple TV or a HomePod to view the status of your devices remotely, to control them remotely, and to use your devices in automations since the automations run on your HomeKit hub. So when a HomeKit compatible TV turns on, the light strip can turn on for ambient lighting. And when the TV turns off, the light strip can automatically turn off. One of my favorite ways to use this light strip is in my sexy time scene to really set the mood with a nice pink. I also like using this device in my scenes, like my movie scene here, to automatically turn the light strip on and turn it blue. Govi is a good option for a HomeKit light strip and offers many customizable features for a reasonable price. It is priced higher than most of the other HomeKit addressable light strips on the market today, but it also has a lot more features. I think Onvis offers a better value with very similar features to the Govi light strip, like painting the light strip multiple colors at a much lower cost. Especially since you can export these effects as HomeKit scenes, I found Onvis to be faster to respond and it has been more reliable for me than using Govi. Though, Govi does thrive at having a plethora of special effects if that's something that you're interested in. But the setup process with Matter was a nightmare and there's constant bugs and glitches that I experienced that does make Govi hard to recommend since there's more reliable HomeKit light strips out there. But being this is a new product, hopefully a lot of these bugs will be squashed later on and the product can be a bit more reliable. Again, I will be doing a full comparison video of HomeKit light strips that are on the market today in a future video. I would love to know your thoughts on the Gobi light strip down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.